They look tiny, almost insignificant, but these can be killers. We're waging a constant war to get rid of bacteria like the notorious E. coli. And now Professor Jeremy Lakey and his team at Newcastle University's Centre for Bacterial Cell Biology have discovered a new weapon for their armoury. And this is it. This is the first time we've ever seen a flexible, what we call a disordered protein like this, able to kill bacteria. In the past, we've relied on antibiotics like penicillin, but overuse has led to bacteria developing immunity and the drugs becoming ineffective. We have a time bomb. We have a certain amount of time before the antibiotics that we're using will become completely useless. But that time bomb may be about to be defused. Professor Lakey's team has been working on a protein grown in this flask in the corner of his lab. They discovered, quite by chance, that the tail of the protein is toxic to the bacteria. And here's the proof. Bacteria being washed in a liquid containing the new killer protein molecules and being wiped out. This targets E. coli type bacteria, which we call gram-negative bacteria. And they're particularly difficult to kill with antibiotics because they've got an extra cell wall on the outside called an outer membrane. And this group has been not terribly in the news of late. MRSA is much more commonly known about, but these are becoming an increasing problem. And the, the beauty of the molecules that we work on is that they can penetrate this outer barrier and get into the bacteria and kill them. The clear spots in this dish of bacteria again show where the killer protein has done its job. The hope is that in due course it will be incorporated into a tablet, which we can all take when we need it. Our aim in the end is to produce new medicines, and once we've done our job, that will move on to people who know how to develop drugs and bring it to the market. Great news for us, and a bad day for E. coli. Derek Proud, ITV News, Newcastle.